What's going on guys? God bless you. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today's video guys, we are working on this Kia... Dang, what's the brand? It's the minivan. I forgot the name of it. As always, you guys know me. I suck with names. <laughs> uh, but today we are working on this minivan. I recently got an email asking me, hey Carlos, how do you do minivans? How do you price minivans um, and why do customers get mad when you charge them more? <laughs> so that's kind of what this video is going to be about. Um, so let me get all set up and we'll get started on this project. This is going to be more on a kind of educational video um, on how I would do things. Again, you don't have to do it this route. Everybody's going to find different ways to do things, right? Um, but one of the reasons um, the cost is so high on minivans. On average, majority of the time, these vehicles are not gonna be in good shape because a lot of these vans are tore up. They have, usually it's made for kids. Um, some people call them soccer mom vans and you know, there's all sorts of goodness in vehicles usually. Um, so when it comes to minivans, just know that you have to charge accordingly. When it comes to my business, um, all my interior details start at 300. Uh, based off condition, the price subject to change. Now, <sighs> minivans is one that I think it's one of the most um, Usually when a customer's like, oh, I have a minivan, a lot of detailers don't want to do it because it is a lot of work. It has a lot of mats majority of the time. <laughs> so a lot of detailers just don't want to mess with it, right? And I'm going to show you kind of how this vehicle looks and you're going to see how it looks. Though it does look kind of bad in reality, it's not. Once I start blowing everything and I vacuum this car, the scene's gonna look pretty, pretty good without doing a detail, right? So the total price on today's project, um, on this vehicle today, uh, is going to run, uh, this one right here runs 450 for a minivan. On average, my cost on a minivan runs from, uh, obviously the price starts at 300, but minivans have many compartments, a lot of seats, um, you have to move a lot of things, um, so that's why the cost is high, right? Because it's going to take you a little bit of more time. You have to pay attention to more on this vehicle because it's a big uh, landscape in a way. Um, so there's a lot of compartments also in this van. Uh, so you have to make sure that you charge accordingly, you know, and it sucks. I get it. Some people are like, wow, that's a lot of money for a minivan. Well, minivans are always going to be hard. They're going to be very difficult. Um, but if you charge accordingly, you're going to have a lot of fun while you're doing it. So might as well charge accordingly. Take your time. That's why I only do one car per, um, one car per day and I'm okay. Right. I have done some minivans that have been in worst case scenarios. And yeah, those have been like six fifty, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars $800 because of the condition, right? This one is not bad. So 450 is very fair in my opinion. Uh, that also includes the exterior washed as well. All right, now that we have removed the mats, the mats actually don't look bad. Obviously, the ones that have taken the beating are the rubber went, rubber. But this is the, I would say, true condition on the minivan. It's just a light stain right here. Once we come to the back, it is pretty, pretty straightforward, right? Obviously, you always make sure you move these seats back and forth, especially to remove uh, the mats. They lock in with with this here so you have to move that seat first in order to take these rear mats out one of the concerns the customer has she says if you see any stickers please remove them so i'm assuming it's these yellow ones but i'm probably going to leave those because this looks like it guides them or something it says right hand so yeah i'm gonna leave those stickers there i only saw stickers on the window and that was pretty much it but to be honest it doesn't look in a bad bad shape tools uh, we're gonna be using today obviously is gonna be the rigid vacuum 
We're gonna be using two styles of air tools. The first one is a, I call it like a, just a turbo air tool. This one's my first one. This is to blow all the, like the crevices, get all in there really quickly and then blow everything out. And then I'll come back if I have to with this one. This one is for my um, kind of, it starts opening the fibers really well. So when I start vacuuming, it turns out really well. So phase one, is let's blow this whole interior. Always remember, start from the front, work your way to the back. If you can, raise the seat up a little bit so you're able to get all under the seat really well. You always find goodies out here, so. Find a little bit of everything. And as you are vacuuming, uh, make sure that you start turning all your equipment like your steamer make sure you have everything ready to go so that as soon as you finish the pre-vacuum stage right you can get right to it right try try to be one step ahead of your job right so i already have the steamer going right now i'm vacuuming everything really quick which is going to look really really good after i vacuum it then we're going to start with obviously the dashboard and everything like that uh, but really quick we're going to go ahead and just vacuum everything everything up All right, guys, what you're seeing now is the aftermath after we have blown everything, we have vacuumed everything, and look at that. This is really, really good. So overall, the condition of it, once you vacuum everything, this just makes it so much easier. Obviously, light stains around the vehicle, which is normal on a minivan. Really, it's normal on any car, right? But once you vacuum the car completely just look at that and i'll show you guys this other side really really quick and this is one of the reasons why i love to blow everything because you don't have to put the work in at the very end do it all at the beginning right even though some say man that takes too long do it in the beginning so that when it comes time for your extraction or your dry upholstery method trust me it's gonna be a lifesaver it's gonna speed up your process so next thing we want to do obviously now we're gonna start on the driver's side and just work away all the way around the vehicle quickly um rinseless we're gonna go rinseless on this project um and steam all the way through from from the plastics to everything in this vehicle we're gonna go rinseless because this car is not in bad condition and she and she is also a previous customer and if i remember correctly steam cleaning was a um a preferred choice so that's exactly what we're doing um today so i actually have the psi somebody gave me a tip that uh to make sure that i uh, bring down the psi a little bit uh, that way the psi stays more consistent if that makes sense it's a little bit of more drier steam and honestly i have actually enjoyed that so that is what we're gonna do we're gonna go with steam we're gonna go with rinseless and get this project started right Now, if there are some areas that are pretty bad, then and that is where, you know, we, we may put some, uh, a little bit of more product in there, but I think just steam alone is gonna do quite well because this, this car is not in bad shape. It really isn't. And then we come with our Rack Company Air Blaster Plus with the rinsers in here and just blast everything off. It's 
switch it to air. So if there's any advice I can give a lot of you guys is use all your tools to your advantage. If you have a steamer, use that steamer as much as you can through your project. If you have a Vortex, if you have a Tornador, if you have the Rad Company uh, Air Blaster Plus like this one that I have with the rinseless in there, go for it. You know, as you guys can see is uh, I'm spraying my rinseless, then I steam it, then I come back with the Air Blaster. And I'm just blasting everything or pretty much blowing off uh, anything off of the seats with the rinseless. And I'm also hitting the carpet as well because that's going to start pretty much loosening up all the debris like in the edges uh, as well as blowing them off. And it just makes your job so much easier um, as you're detailing. So use your tools as much as you can. Find a rhythm. Find something that works for you, right? Don't just uh, use one specific product for uh, or tool for that specific scenario. Use it as much as you can. Trust me, the more you use your tools, the easier and the quicker it's going to be for you as well. Alright you guys, we are to the um, extraction phase, right? This method here is very simple um, and I hope you guys can hear me. But uh, we are not fully extracting this carpet. Honestly, uh, the way I do this method is usually I tap the carpet. If I see like a lot of debris coming up, that's usually when I will do with the extractor. One of the reasons I'm also going this route is because the customer is also pregnant um, so I would rather go the safest method which is steam cleaning um, and just steam clean all the interior I've gone ahead and done a pre-spray obviously on this whole vehicle with flex bio brake right and it was just a light mist just to at least help remove uh, minor stains that this carpet could have honestly it's in really good shape but the first thing you want to do is we are going to vacuum everything really really well uh, and then we are going to uh, we're gonna steam the carpet really really well and then next we are going to grab our air blaster tool right we're gonna grab this tool right here and then with the what I have on here is rinseless product so with the product on we are going to pretty much agitate if that makes sense we are agitating the carpet as well as blending all the fibers in really well. After I do that, I will grab a towel to pretty much mop it up or dry the carpet, and then I'll come back with my vacuum and vacuum everything really well. And that is the way I do a dry upholstery method. I know it's a lot of steps. I know some people literally just steam, wipe off, and that's it. I like to do more than once just because I wanna make sure that this turns out really, really well. Alrighty guys, this project is finally done. Overall, this vehicle took me uh, about three hours to work on, um, or two and a half, I believe. Um, but really, the overall outcome of this vehicle was really, really well. Uh, today's video was really more kind of showcased a little bit on maybe the process, the pricing, 
Um, and don't be scared when you see or hear a minivan, take them, just charge accordingly, right? Majority of the time, these vehicles are in, I would say, not a good shape, right? And a lot of times your customers are gonna say, oh, it's not that bad. But unfortunately, they are. <laughs> I think minivans, I call them also sticker cities because on average, those windows are all, they have stickers everywhere. But in all honesty, um, this, this project was definitely um, a, a good project to tackle today, right? The overall price on this vehicle today was $450 uh, from beginning to end. Um, the interior detailed uh, plus the exterior done as well. On the exterior was just a very, very basic uh, wash. Um, but before I end this video, if you saw yesterday's video or my most recent video, it sounded horrible. It really did. I wasn't happy with the outcome of that video, to be honest. Um, I had one minor issue. Uh, for those who have inverters, generators, I highly encourage you to open up your, where the exhaust is, or usually a little cover. Um, open that up periodically or every three months. And there's some bolts at the bottom. Make sure you tighten those bolts. Unfortunately, yesterday when I turned on my generator, this thing sounded bad it's that like rattling um obviously i worked through it like that very dangerous um i ended up burning <coughs> burning a little bit of this plastic and a little bit on the that inner casing uh long story short i got home and i was like let me see what the issue is the exhaust broke off i guess from those two bolts at the bottom that obviously keep the exhaust in place i guess fell off a long time ago and i just never paid attention um and i guess because of the shaking and the vibration it caused it to crack and break off um thankfully i found the gentleman um that took care of it and we were back in action i literally was thinking like i have to buy a new generator uh but thankfully shout out to pete out in denton um he took care of it um and I am so grateful. How did this vehicle turn out? You're about to see a couple clips on the final outcome, the uh, final finish on this minivan. Um, it turned out really, really well. So as always, guys, thank you so much uh, for watching today's video. I hope it kind of uh, guided you a little bit on this method. Uh, one quick tip before I end this video as well is one benefit of having a chief steamer is you're able to dial in the steam so when you're doing the carpet such as you saw in today's video i put the steam very very minimal i didn't want full blast steam because then it's going to create a lot of uh, moisture and all that so i had it at a very low setting so that there is not a lot of steam coming through and this thing turned out so amazing so as always thank you guys for watching today's video god bless you guys and i'll catch you guys on the next one